Hello, ladies and gents. Let me just see how good this video is. All right, I think I'm gonna take you over here. I am gonna show anybody who wants to know how to learn how to install grommets. Um, they're really, really easy. Oh my gosh, sun's like, eh, I'm trying to get good sunlight. But um, yeah, I just wanted to show this really quickly. I have to install grommets really quickly in a hood that I have to ship out. Um, and also I'm installing grommets on a beautiful piece of tapestry that I would like in my bedroom. Oh, oops, 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 oops. I'm like a rotating. Hey girl. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm installing them in a tapestry that I'm hanging in my home. Um, they're great for tapestries if you don't wanna, you know, if it makes you cringe to think about putting a nail uh, in a hole through a beloved tapestry. Um, this is a way that you can install grommets. I did this one backwards, so this, <laughs> this is not how it's gonna look, but I'll show you how to do it on the other ones. They're super, super easy. All you have to do is get a grommet kit. Um, this is the brand that I got, Bostitch, Bostitch, Freudian switch there. <laughs> um, but yeah, it comes with 12 grommets, and this is what comes in your kit. If you can see, it's got all the washers, the uh, little whatever that's called, I don't know. Um, and then it's got like this base, and it's like a flare tool thing, this that comes with, and then a punching hole that's got cloth in it from my tapestry that I just did. And it's super, super easy. Um, it intimidated me for the longest time at first because I was like, I'm not a man. I don't go to Home Depot and I can't do things and blah, blah, blah. But yeah, I watched a couple tutorials and I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna try it because I had to do it for the hoods that we made and I have a bajillion of. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. And I thought I would just make a nice live video real quick just to kind of keep my little creativity train rolling and I want to inspire and hopefully encourage other people to start um, crafting and don't let um, things that have held me back in the past hold you back because if I can do it, you can do it too. It's super, super easy. I am not handy whatsoever. Um, so I'm going to try and get a good angle for you guys so I can show you everything. So I did this corner and uh, I did actually want to start with my tapestry because it's been a while since I've installed grommet so I had to like remind myself how to do it um, and I wanted to do it on a tapestry so this is the beautiful tapestry I'm doing it on it's a freaking mermaid guys yeah she's super pretty and I love her I'm trying to find some space for her in my home um, but anyway so I'm going to flip the piece backwards and that's how we're gonna start on it uh, so this is the back of the tapestry um, all you need to do is, hopefully you guys can really see here, there you go, that's pretty good. Um, so I'm gonna just take a little Sharpie um, and just, I'm gonna make a little X mark. I'll show you guys after I make it where I want the grommet. Normally on pieces that I sell, I try and be a lot more uh, anal about uh, measurements and stuff like that, but since this is just a tapestry for my bedroom, I'm just gonna eyeball it. And just, cause it doesn't really matter. Um, I kind of have to remind myself like how big the washer is. So I don't want to get that black. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's the back anyway, but so here you guys see I made a nice little X mark where I wanted to put my grommet and then now I'm going to Oh yeah, now is the hole punching part. So um, I just take my hole punch that comes in the kit looks like this it has a really sharp and uh, hollow end to it so and then the other end is not so use that one face down on that mark that you just or I just made or you just made um, I'm gonna put it on there and then here I'm just gonna swipe these out of the way okay and uh, you just kind of forcefully not too forcefully I just ripped a hole in my uh, my little towel I was using because I did it a little too hard. This one I didn't do quite hard enough because it didn't end up coming off all the way. But, okay, so that I did a really bad job on. But, it's okay guys. Is practice makes perfect. So. Do that a little bit more, come on. All right, well I also brought my little fabric cutter I got here so I'm just gonna kind of finish cutting 
this off. Alrighty, so that one looks terrible, but just so you guys know, it, everything's okay. As long as you practice, it's okay if you mess up. Because I just did, and I've done these a few times. It's been a long time since I've done these, though. So, once you have this nice, supposed to be beautiful looking hole punched out, my one before was a lot better, but... Um, and then also I just use a towel and you just need a really hard surface. So that's why I like to do it outside. I prefer to, um, yeah, because I don't want to break anything in my home. And then it comes with handy dandy instructions on the back. So instead of trying to tell you what I think I know, I'm just going to read exactly how you do it. So you mark that whole location, you uh, place the material. So I'm going to place this material over the wash, or uh, I want to make sure I get the terminology correct, over my grommet. This is the actual grommet part. The other part that goes on top is the washer. So I'm going to place the material over my grommet and then have it go through the little hole. Just the tip. Let's see how that looks. Ooh, my tripod's broken, so I'm going to try not to move it too much. But yeah, you see how that looks? Ugh, gosh, this tripod's killing me. Ugh, okay. So. I put it over my material like that, or under my material, excuse me, and then then you place the grommet material and washer on a base as shown, and then the base is uh, right here. This is the base part. It looks different than what they refer to as the flaring tool. This is the flaring tool, this is the base, and uh, I'm going to put the, so here, watch me, okay, I'm going to. So I'm going to take, see how the washer's going through? I'm gonna like lift up both together, keep that in there, and then um, the raised part of this, what do they call it again? On the base. <laughs> All right, and so I put it like that. My base is underneath and is fitting snugly because of the little, little divots in there. It's gonna hold it nicely in place for me. And then I place the, ooh, ouchie. It's hurting my feet to sit like this, ouch. So then these are your, um, nope, this, I probably should have practiced this a few more times before I went live, but that's okay. Um, this is the washer, so I'm going to place that on top, like that, just like that. And then, do 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 the flaring tool, that's when the flaring tool comes in. I place the flaring tool over my grommet and base as shown. So I'm going to put that right on top of there. So it's like a nice little metal -y sandwich here. And then I'm just going to kind of go to town. So if you do it a little bit too much, you can smash uh, the pieces together too tightly. So I would suggest what works for me is I give it a nice couple good wax and then check and gauge how much more I need to go or if I've done enough and or if I've gone too far. So so just really try and firmly it's like uneven I can already tell but like mm, mm. okay let's see how I did. Ooh not bad. Ooh see but okay so I'm gonna show you guys so this is my desired look because sometimes when I do it too hard, this the metal just will smash together. You want a really nice, clean, like jelly roll across there. But I didn't do it hard enough, and how I know that is when I flip it over, you shouldn't really see anything. Like I could probably see myself through that gap. So I'm just gonna kind of go back to square one, put my base down, put back my grommet on top of that, and then my uh, washer is going to be on what's on top. Then I put my flare tool back on and then just give it a couple good more wax. Sorry, navies. Ooh, see, and then there we go. See how it's like a seamless connection now? I don't have any gaps. That is nice and tightly in there. It's great for if you're going to festivals, Ooh, I won't touch on that too much more, but anyway, it's great if you want to decorate your campsite and hang them up and it looks really pretty. I think it doesn't ruin any um, tapestries or anything like that. I think it gives it a nice, really professional uh, look to it and it allows you to hang them in your home and not have to worry about, um, you know, putting holes in beautiful tapestries because they're meant to be hung up. So this is a nice way to do that. So I'm just going to kind of finish along here. 
Let me make sure I have no questions. Feel free to ask me any questions. I don't think I have any. And that's okay, because I'll be here after one. <laughs> hey, baby, my little kitty cat. Um, so I actually, if you guys have any questions, I'm here to answer any after the video. And I'm just going to kind of finish the rest of my little thing here. And so yeah, so now I have one corner done. I have my other corner done, uh, but I accidentally did it opposite because I was kind of trying to rejog my memory on how to do this. But this one doesn't matter because it's just for my house. Oh my gosh. And be careful because yeah, I'm just, and use like a shitty towel that you have or something because I'm like putting holes in these. Yeah. So my next corner, lay the piece down backwards. There's my little punching tool. I'm gonna X where I kind of want it to go. That's probably about good. All right. So I do my little hole punchy doodad thing. I want to make sure. Oh yeah, I got it good this time. Yeah. See. Much better than the one before. So definitely hit it really hard, but also I am putting holes in this towel. So yeah, that's what you want to see. It's a nice seamless little round hole. Alrighty, and then next again, you take your grommet. You're gonna stick that underneath. So this is the front of my tapestry, back of it. So it's gonna go up like that. Um, I wanna put it on my base. So I'm gonna lay that part of the grommet onto my base, like a little sandwich. And then I take the washer, which is the little thin one, and I put it on the, hol or, uh, the divoted side, I guess, with a little indent down, like that, in my little sandwich. And then I have my little flare tool that looks like that, goes right on top, like that, and then you just go to town again. Take your day out on it, you know? That's how it's going to get a really good connection. I'm going to get my hand out of the way. Um, I'm, I went. I tried to go harder than the last one just so I wouldn't have to redo it again. I probably still would have to redo it. Oh no, see? Nice, seamless connection, so definitely don't be afraid to go to town on that. Um, I think before when I first started doing this, I think I just really, really, really went way too hard because I remember smashing these a lot and they didn't look very pretty. But yep, this is what you're looking for. A nice round little jelly donut roll where the grommet and the um, washer kind of come together and you don't want to see any gaps so if you like pull the tapestry you don't want to see any gaps right here so that one looks good I've got two or three out of four this is my last one and then I'm gonna move on to the hood I have for my girl Rebecca I have to put some grommets in her so I thought this was a perfect time to share a little insight of a small skill I guess it's not even really a skill everybody can do it it's just don't be intimidated by things that you put mental walls or mental blocks up because if I can do it anyone can do it for sure like I said I'm not very handy but I'm just gonna again add oh I did a little bit too big on that mark there but it's okay because it's just the back of it so but okay so I got my base or I gotta do my little hole punch thing first yeah this is like getting a bunch of fabric and stuff in it so hopefully I can get that Okay, so then again, place the hole punch over my mark that I made. Ah, yeah, I didn't like do it quite, quite hard enough. Almost. That's okay. All right, and then I'm going to place my grommet underneath, like a little sandwich. And then I put my washer on top of that make the sandwich with my base goes underneath with the grommet part rest gently on top of that complete the sandwich with the what do they call it again a fluffer flaring tool yep flaring tool over that all right and then just go to town And just be thankful you're not my neighbor today. So. <laughs> uh, all right. And then that was a good one too. 
you want that seamless connection I showed earlier. Uh, actually, I'm glad I did that earlier because it was a good example of a gap you don't want to see. So yeah, you want to be able to pull that and see no gap there. And then again, that nice little jelly roll right on the outside there. So, and I'm gonna show you guys the completed. Ooh, and then I get to show you the pants that I just made. Cause like braided pants are just lit because then you can like match them over different colors and just completely transform them every single time. So here, I'm gonna show you the finished product on this. And then you guys can check out my cute little pants I made. Aren't those cute? Over black leggings and it's cold out, but I am very warm. So yes, this is, ah, this is my completed tapestry. <laughs> I should not have held it in this direction. The wind is not my friend. Okay, I'm gonna just step on her here. Ugh. Okay, okay. Yep, so as you can see, nice big huge tapestry that I now can take anywhere, anywhere with me. And I can hang it up in my bedroom without having to put holes in it. I mean, like nail holes and such. And then yeah, so this is done for my little tapestry. And I guess I will show you uh, other uses for it. Um, if any of you crafty people out there sew or anything like that, um, I'll turn you guys back this way. If any of you crafty people sell or anything like that, these are um, also great for things like hoods. Um, I'm going to show you how to install the grommets into Polar Bear Creation hoods. So I got some nice organic cotton fabric on the inside. The outside is an organic cotton, but it is over, I believe it's 95% cotton. So still fire safe and nice and stretchy and reversible. If you want to just, you know, show you the dark side, but I don't have a grommet in them. So, um, I'm going to install those grommets. This one I'm going to be a lot more precise on, and since I'm doing it on black, I have to make that mark. I brought out chalk as my little marker instead of my Sharpie. Um, this is for my girl Rebecca, so I can get yours out really soon for you. Um, okay. So. That was the one I didn't want to do. Yes. So <clears throat> basically I want, this is the front of my tapestry. This is what I want outside of my hoods. I don't want the underside. I want this side. So I'm going to, yes, turn it over. Yes. Okay. Just like double checking because now I can't be sloppy because this is for Rebecca. So I got to really, really, really pay attention to where I'm putting all my marks. Okay. So you guys can see what I'm doing here. And again, you can get this at any hardware store. Bostitch um, brand comes with, it's a just a grommet kit it's called. It comes with 12 grommets and it comes with the whole kit, the hole punch, the base, the flaring tool, and the washers and grommets. So it's really, really neat. Okay, so I'm just double checking because I, ugh, now I'm just like doubting myself and I can't mess this one up. So... Okay, yes, I want the big fat grommet to be, yes, okay, that's what I want. Yes, okay. All right, so I'm gonna make a little chalk mark here. Uh, so I basically, I probably should have brought one out that I already had, but now that it's for a customer. I really can't mess this up and I'm really nervous now, but I shall prevail. Okay. This is super, super, uh, this is, is like a lot of pressure right now. So I'm going to actually double check a past hood that I actually have. I haven't done grommets on these in a really long time. But yeah, so thanks for hanging out with me while I go lose my mind everywhere. Okay, perfect. So this way I can show you guys what the finished are. Ah, hiding from my four-year-olds. Okay, so I have a finished hood right here and that way I can match it up to where I put these on. But you see how handy those grommets are? Like how cool is that? You can add those grommets and then you get these chains at the same hardware stores 
I'm like 99% sure I got the clip. Oh my gosh, the sun came back out. Um, I'm 99% sure that I got this, the little clips you see here. These are my favorite for these hoods. They're just very versatile. And yeah, so definitely a nifty stuff. And you can get all that stuff at the hardware store. Like who knew? It's very neat. But yes, if I can help anyone get more crafty or delve into their crafty side, that would just make my entire day. So, uh, ooh, yeah, see, and then this one, this past hood actually, I did a little bit too, I actually hope, uh, I actually cut the hole, the initial hole a little bit too big. So, oops, look at that. But it all comes with practice. Practice makes perfect. I'm like fucking even hating showing this right now. It looks so shitty, but I mean, how do you get better at stuff if you don't just keep on going? So, all right. And that's why I'm being so anal about this one because I want to know exactly where I'm putting this is like the right spot. Ah, I can get in there with you. Um, I was about to use a black Sharpie on black fabric. Like what is wrong with me? Let's try pink, see if I can see anything. Okay, perfect. Okay. Alrighty, so... Yeah, I have really bad OCD, so I like check things again and again and again and again and again, and I doubt myself a lot and stuff, so yeah, don't mind me being neurotic. But yeah, so there we go. I marked my hole, as you can see. Ah, my uh, tripod's broken. I'm not gonna mess with that anymore. Um, okay, so I made my mark. I'm gonna take my hole punch, make sure I'm not in a crack on the sidewalk. Um, okay. All right, and then I take my hole punch, guys. You wanna use the end that's sharp and hollow, not the other end. Put it right over my mark right there. As dead center as I can try and get it. And again, I'm double checking myself a million times. And then just, yeah. Oof. These ones are tricky because I have to go through two layers of fabric. So I actually should have gone harder. But that's okay because I did bring my handy dandy uh, little cutter. These are really useful for fabric and situations like these where I'm like, ah! Because that's okay. Because this one was a lot thicker than my tapestry I should have accounted for that and just really went to town but then the other hood got in my head and I didn't want to make the hole too big but that's okay because it worked out really nicely look at that I got a nice beautiful size hole oh my gosh it's like dead center with that stripe too that's cool. um and then yeah like I said we're gonna take das ba base I don't know words uh, okay so yeah the base put it down first we're gonna make a little sandwich Take your grommet, this one's called the grommet. Put that right on that base, or yeah, the base. How many times am I gonna say base? I'm annoying myself, sorry guys. And then I'm gonna put the entire fabric over that, cause this is my back side, this is the side, that you know, the underside. So just wanna clarify that. Then I grab the washer, this is the washer part, and I put that with the divot side down, like the little indentation. Put that down right there. Make sure it's it's nice and flat on that base. The base has a little divot in it too that the grommet sits really nicely in. Then I take my flaring tool, which is this little doodad, put it right over. It's just a big old sandwich. And then yes, go to town. And then check her out. Yay, I didn't go too hard. And it's a little loose for me, so I'm gonna do a little bit more, but I'll show you guys an example of a little loose. You want that really nice, pretty little jelly roll right there, but then on the back, you want it to be a very seamless, seamless connection. And you can kind of sort of hopefully, see, yeah, see how there's a gap? Like when I pull the fabric, you don't want any of that gap. Yeah, you can see like a family of five could live in there. So we're just gonna not, sorry about my dirty fingernails, don't worry about those. Um, yeah, so I want to put that all back together. So I'm going to put that all back onto my base, put the flaring tool on top, and then just give it a nice couple good wax. Just to try and tighten up that connection. And we'll see. Yep, and it worked. See? 
now I have no more gaps pretty as can be and now I can do my other side again I'm gonna just match this up to my uh, one of my old hoods so I can try and get the most even and symmetrical holes which I didn't really mind when it was my piece but I definitely want to be mindful of when it's a customer's piece all right so oh my goodness I did a terrible job on this hood oh look at these holes yeah I cut the holes I think I cut them with my fabric cutter or something I don't know what I did before but I cut them just way too big um but not a big deal. You live and you learn. You just gotta practice and use that punching tool. I'm telling you, there's. I think I read a tutorial where they said to cut like a um, an X yourself and then put the grommet through that. But don't don't do that because that's how I got this. Just use the punching tool. If you use the punching tool, it's just the most accurate um, hole punch you're gonna find. All right, so I'm on here. I'm measuring my stuff. I'm going to hopefully mark that with some chalk and then put some pink on top of it so I can see exactly where my hole's at. All right, and then, oh my gosh, I hate having OCD. Okay, so I got the center of where I want my hole. That looks pretty good to me. I like that, I think. Do I like that? Let me try it this way. I actually know this one. OCD is so fun. All right, so no, I actually don't like that. Um, okay, this is much better. So I'm gonna mark my little hole, or mark my little spot where I want my hole to go. Oh my gosh, it is cold. Um, all right, so once I have that up, okay. Again, this is the, the last one I'm gonna do for you guys. I promise this won't last too much longer. I'm going to try and get the fabric out of there. Um, but yeah, so once you get your place marked, like I have, it's really hard to see, but I, uh, I marked it with chalk. And then I'm just going to try and put this, again, this is my hole punch, and you want to use the side that's hollow and has the really, really sharp edges. And you're going to be pounding on the solid top part. So I'm going to put that right over as center as I can get it. Check it like five billion times. Oh my gosh, okay. All right, and then, oh my gosh, I just moved, so I have to measure again. Oh, and it helps actually, yeah, if you kind of give it a good press to start. Yeah, see, I like it right there. Okay. And. I had to do this wicked hard, wicked had. Because, yeah, like my other one. Oh, I did it again. But anyway, I'm going through two fairly thick pieces of fabric. So that's why it's, like, wanting to hold on for dear life. I don't know why. But I have a tool for that. My cutter. So I'm just going to cut the rest of that. Get my hair so I don't cut my dreads. Okay. And let me show you my little pretty hole I made. Look at that. Ah, I can't really see. Perfection, that's what you want. A nice, eh, you can see it. Nice, perfect little hole like that. And that hole punch, like I said, is gonna get you your most accurate, um, accurate hole. So again, we're gonna make that sandwich for the last time. I start with my base, like that. I wanna put the grommet, which one looks like this, right on top of my base, right there. Then I'm going to lay the, fa the what I want to put a grommet in, and I'm putting this, and it's going backwards. So I want the, the front of it to have, uh, to have the grommet showing, and the back is going to have that little jelly roll. Or, I mean, you can do it either way you want, but generally speaking, the grommets, yeah. But you have to turn the piece over to do this. So put the grommet right there. Then I'm going to take my washer, which looks like this. Comes in your kit is the flat one. I'm gonna put that divot side down on my piece, just like so. And then last but not least, the flaring tool looks like this. And I'm gonna put that right on top, like a sandwich. Like that, and as long as you make sure you have a really nice hard surface, I just put the um, towel in between just so I don't ruin the fabric or rub it against any of the hard surfaces. And then yeah, a hammer, like a janky one like I'm using, and just go to town.
Ah, make sure, yeah. You want to use like a nice even force with it. I can already feel that I didn't do it correctly. I think I did. Ooh, ooh, this one. This one, I think I might have done a little too hard. Oh, come on now. Ugh. Alrighty. Oh, that's cool. Well, Rebecca, this is coming with your hood now, so I hope you enjoy half a grommet kit. No, I'm just kidding. But, oh, come on. Yeah, so I think, oh, there we go. Oh, my gosh. Woo, I thought I ruined it. All right, low battery, but that's okay. So anyway, this is what you wanted, and what my desired effect was. You want that nice, really pretty jelly roll on the one side, and then look at that, a seamless connection. Well, yeah, there's a tiny, tiny bit of a gap, but I'm not gonna mess with it again because it was so tight. Yeah, and there's no gap on that side. And then let me show you how I'm going to complete, ow, 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 this today. Oh my gosh, it's hurt my knees, I'm old. But yeah, so let me show you how I'm going to finish my hood. I'm actually going to steal the uh, chains from this since I'm not going anywhere, <laughs> especially a hardware store right now. Um, let me, so I can get, show you guys too what I'm using. Um, these are nice, simple chains. I really like the color of them. They're a nice um, black. They go with a lot of stuff. Like I just had them on a, a green hand dyed uh, one. It's hard to see the color, but this is like a marbled uh, like sage green and then we put like a nice green mmm nice organic fire safe fabric I don't know why I smelled it but I don't know why I do the things that I do but anyway so for Rebecca's hood here I am showing off how I add these little doodads this little guy you can also get at the hardware store and they're really versatile they clip on both ends I like the spacing for my hoods and then, yeah, I just kind of chose the length of chain that I preferred, but I can, you know, you can always add more of people. So I'm just going to kind of test it out, make sure that my thing is working. Oh, come on. There we go. See? And it goes right in your pretty little grommet you just made. I'm going to add that to the other side. Open her up. Burp, burp, burp. Ugh. Okay. Probably should have music out here with me. Okay, there we go. So here we go, and I'll show you guys oh, the finished product. And. Ooh. I look like a Sith Lord. I'm like. Something, something dark side. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is the finished look. And ooh, I'm gonna take my freaking thing off there. So, and look at it. Ooh, I got my nice little oversized hood. It's weighted down with chains, so it's not gonna fall off. You can hoop with it. And I think we have additions in the top for hairpins. That we used to like to put in for flow flow wear but yeah that's the finished look and then look at those pretty grommets isn't that pretty a nice little peek out of gold on the side i think so i think it's really cool but anyway i hope this was helpful i thought i might as well just try it and yeah make a live video just to show you guys really low battery so i'm gonna get going now and i'm all done anyway but yeah if you guys have any we want to know the brand names if you didn't catch it or it's 30 minutes long now but yeah feel free to ask me i'll try that i can i'm a novice though myself but like i said if i can do it you can do it too and i hope this video helped anybody bye guys